Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in an 88-person free-for-all battle. This is my favorite kind of a map where full settings not allowed. 88 players means that you still get to pick your spot, but it's a high population map, meaning, meaning it's incredibly competitive. And there's so much strategy that goes into picking your spot that gets negated once you get above 100. 100 just really adds a level of RNG to it that I'm just not a big fan of. But I've really, really fallen in love with this spot here in Estonia, Latvia area. As we do get going, I'll kind of explain that. But basically, it's big enough where you can make a carving out for yourself. And then you can really take advantage of the drama that happens around you. You're going to touch a lot of people's borders, which means that you need to build up your troops and be a very high troop nation. But it gives you an opportunity to take advantage and, un and join those gang ups that happen around you, especially in the Scandinavia region as that is a very hard region to consolidate all into one player. A lot of people start there, there's not a lot of land, and there's not a lot of opportunity to move out. In fact, I only know of a couple players that really ever play there, one being Farrell, another YouTube creator. He's about a top 50 ranked player on Territorial.io. Definitely check out his channel, link will be in the description below. He's a good friend of mine, highly recommend his content. But as we get going here, we have a lot of neighbors as we expected, but it is important for us to consolidate our borders immediately as, um, a player on playing on mobile when you got to think about it you got to think most players on this game play on mobile they if they can't see your numbers they might pre, uh, incorrectly perceive you as weak so we do get a truce with Saul pro down there Saul bro pro excuse me gosh that's gonna be a hard one to say over and over and Brazil is a great target for us as he only has 19,000 troops this is gonna be a wonderful target for us giving us time to build up now he's not gonna go anywhere but let's give him a big attack as he goes in the CCP that is a perfect time to attack and we do, this will give us borders with more players, but just a lot more land on top of it. And we do have more troops than all of the players around us. So again, just kind of ensuring our safety. Now, BBB is unfortunately a player I did not want to go into. We'll definitely take that choice to Serbia. As it moves me more central to the map, being central on the map is never a good idea. It always leads to downfall, but hopefully we'll be able to survive as we do, do touch borders with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. <laughs> This is what's referred to as the danger zone. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll be able to make it out. We still have the troop advantage. We're going to be able to take out Turkey, gaining a little bit more land. That will just replace one neighbor with a stronger neighbor in X-Men. And that is a little bit scary. Rude does offer a truce. I'll take truces wherever I can get them. I much prefer for people to ask me for a truce than me ask for them, them for a truce. Oh, shoot. Okay. Never mind. Scratch that. We're being attacked right away. Player 68 is attacking us right now. Fortunately for us, he's a little, little bit of a weaker player as we will be able to take him down. Now, I do see X-Men is falling as well. That is a person I am not going to join in on the attack. I'm going to much more focus in on the positioning of this, where if I go into X-Men, then I touch borders with two more very strong players, and I have no desire to do that. I will let Krill and Sir Pence do that. In fact, let's get a truce with both of them, just to signify that I have no interest in that. In fact, where my interest lies is in Rue. Rue is incredibly weak. He's got 300,000 troops. Let's push into him. He's got so much land. And our neighbor to the north, the Union, is actually going into him as well. That is interesting. He is really being uh, creative with his borders here, just kind of capturing all the Baltic Sea. Now, I am going to push into him. That is my in-game target, but I have been kind of wanting to save up. Yeah, I'm not even going to go to the X-Men. There's no point in that. I could go into Sol Pro over here. That would also be a very good target to go prior to going in. And I, he looks like he's going to fall anyways. Another ally falls to attrition, unfortunately, as he only had two... Uh, 200,000 troops left and if I didn't take them out somebody else would so we'll just keep going here uh looking at the rest of the map uh we do have a lot of division down there in Africa that's gonna be really good for us but uh our end game target right now is going into Scandinavia we're pretty close to getting up to red interest and I really want to make sure that I am strong because again we touch borders with so many players let's try and get a truce with these two players down here and now that we're in interest, let's go into the Union player. Start whittling him down. Let's get a boat out there immediately. I see a boat coming from Kappa King. Looks like he might have had the same idea. No, I don't know whose boat that was. It didn't manage to go through. Oh, it looks like it was a bot that didn't have enough to get through. But that's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and touch base over here to make sure that when we do kind of land the crushing blow, we get most of the land. Let's send a boat up north as well to complete the same mission. And he does start counterattacking us, but he's not able to push us off because we did wait to have such big shared borders that when we did boat in, he couldn't kick us off. So he is pretty weak now. This looks like the death blow for him. I think one more attack will do it, but we do want to be patient here as we do need to consolidate our troops and make sure that we're not overextending ourselves 
even though there's a lot of weak players above us there's not weak players below us that's for sure yeah a lot of very strong players two of them any two of them could really take me out at this point so we'll keep saving up our troops waiting for norway norway's getting attacked we'll go into him right away grab as much land as we can we do have about a 10,000 pixel advantage it's not going to be a lot when a gang up starts so let's go into young right away and he does leave and becomes a bot that's really good for us we'll start taking him out now i do see that serbia is wanting to attack wolfenstein that is great news for me because i also want to attack uh wolfenstein i want to start pushing my way into a corner just for a little bit of protection if not just to the north as serpents is being a great ally to me so is player nine uh, seven four oh they're actually attacking each other that's why they're kind of distracted kappa king is the one i worry about the most he's rather big he's the fourth strongest player in the world oh and serbia is starting to fall right now okay he's getting double teamed i am not going to go into him at all i'm in no rush to touch any of those players i want to finish up wolfenstein and then take out this purple player above before i start worrying about them but as soon as raf i think touches my borders i'm going to start pushing into him reason for that being is i i uh really kind of honestly want to preserve serbia he's been a great bro up to this point i could attack him right now he's kind of at that point of no return but i think the smarter thing for me to do is to start attacking a larger player and that's gonna be raf yeah let's go into raf we have a big advantage he is pretty strong himself he's the sixth strongest player in the world he's not at his red interest so we'll be able to push into him unfortunately serbia does kind of hit that point where, of no return where we do need to go into him now this does give me borders with imperio but imperio is attacking serpents that is really good for us we'll be able to just kind of hopefully have this isolate 1v1 if we can get through this guy and gargantua without any casualties or any kind of faulting alliances I really think the game is ours to win, but we're just still in a very negative spot. Uh, Serpents is big enough to hopefully win that battle against Imperial alone. Gargantua has started attacking me as well. That's it. That's reasonable. Oh, Imperial started attacking me as well. Okay, things are slowly starting to come off the wheels. It's okay. This is still recoverable. We still have a pretty good amount of troops. Gargantua has overextended quite heavily, so we'll punish him a little bit. As Imperial is attacking, Kappa King has attacked. Okay, this is mission critical now. We'll finish off Gargantua over here. As we're going to gain more land than we lose from him. He gives the collapse a good sportsmanship. We'll give him the... We'll say GG's to you as well. And we could try and finish up Wrath. What's uh, But we are getting very aggressively attacked by Kappa King. And now fans below. Fortunately, our truces with NATO and Sir Pence are holding. But this is not looking good for us. Imperial is signaling to attack, I think, me... I don't know it's either me or serpents neither one is that good we'll go ahead and push raf down he's gonna be in a spot where he's gonna be so weak to kind of be, not be able to counter and we're just gonna focus in on kappa king we're gonna really give all of our might into this man and pushing him down i imagine fanes is gonna start getting attacked by e either e any of the other players in all honesty they're all good targets um and they've got good borders kappa king is going very aggressive with his troops here fortunately for us fanes is now getting attacked by the purple player below I say good news, but that's probably Dagwin, who is in second place with about 100,000 troops. We only have a 20,000 pixel advantage on him. It is, in fact, Dagwin. Ooh, okay. So a very, very touchy situation. We just keep doing what we can do. Um, Oh, Sir Pence is falling. He looks like he was getting attacked by Vader. Yeah, he's going to go down. And that's going to give us borders with Vader, who's another very strong player. Let's just go ahead and finish off Sir Pence. Sir Pence, good, good game, sir. I'm sorry I couldn't help out. I hope you understand. I was in quite the quite the crisis. But now that we have 13 million troops, um, Kappa is still attacking us. He's not that much of a concern anymore. Vader is going into Imperial over there. That's interesting. Dagwin's offering us a truce. And Capkin, Kappa King has absolutely thrown away all of his troops very quickly into Dagwin. Dagwin does steal the crown away from us, but we still have some places to go back up to the northeast. So we'll go ahead and get the United Kingdom right now. And we'll finish up our good buddy Raph up here. Start to kind of finish, uh, take him out. NATO's become a bot. Oh, that's not good for us. Well, we'll go ahead and grab this. And mercy kill NATO, if you will. We'll take out Imperial. Now we don't have the crown, which is actually, oh, we have the crown. Okay, never mind, we do. Let's try and get a truce with Vader. And I think the combined efforts of me and Vader are going to be able to take out Dagwin. Especially as Dagwin's already attacked Vader. That's really good for us. So... We'll just save up to red interest. We'll take Ireland. We'll wait our moments. We're very close to Dagwin the crown. So if we turn on him, we'll win. Oh, and he's attacked Vader once more. That's really good for us. Now we begin our attack into Dagwin. 
Hopefully Vader doesn't switch sides. Typically when someone gets attacked twice in a row, then they really kind of commit to attacking the person who did attack them. And that's kind of what I'm banking on because I quickly took the crown back. Dagwin is giving some big attacks into me. That's perfectly fine. I really need to time my attacks to make sure that I'm getting the interest out of the white bar at the top. I need to make sure that that's as close to filling up as possible because if Dagwin counterattacks prior to that bar filling up, he's gonna get a little bit more troops than me or he's going to get more troops than he would have. And uh, it just makes this progress a lot process, process a lot more drawn out. Excuse me, words are hard tonight. But uh, we are getting down Dagwin. He only has 9 million troops. Now, we do need to keep our, our troops very high for when the death blow is landed that Vader doesn't have more troops than us because we are not holding on to too much of an advantage over Vader. We have about a, a 40,000 pixel advantage. Dagwin is down to 3 million troops. This isn't the death blow yet. We don't need to go overextending. This next one will be after this one. No, this is the death below. Okay, go, 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 go. Grab the rest of the land. I think we're going to come out ahead of Vader. And we'll go ahead and grab some islands along the way. And hopefully just be able to peace out with them. Uh, that's kind of my wish. Let's try and definitely go into this player. Oh, you had the same idea. Okay, we get a little bit of land there. We do walk away with the advantage and the troops. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of the United Kingdom. And then we'll look to peace out here as... Oh, scratch that from the record. We've been attacked. It's time. It's time. Now, this is a very, very close battle as we only have a 30,000 pixel advantage, which may sound like a lot, but it's very easy to overcommit your troops in these situations and then lose out. So we just need to be very careful. He's offering us the truce now. No, no, no. I think uh, you you shot your shot and I got to respect it, but I'm going to I'm going to end the game without you here. So we'll just casually start to push through uh, Vader. This is going to take a little bit of time as he is, again, very close to us in troops. He is very strong, you know, in terms, you know, troop wise, we're only about 2 million apart. Every time we attack, we're attacking for 7 million. So we got to think about that. And that's kind of the attack we have to have. Dagwin, where's Dagwin? Dagwin, I'll accept your truce. We'll start to push through Vader. I think we've finally caught the edge. We have about a 70,000 pixel advantage. And yes, we do. So this is where we're going to sit in the video. And we're going to, no, I say in the video, we're going to speed up from here and just kind of end this game out the right way. And that's going to wrap things up here. A great game played by Vader. He really came out from nothing to something in the very end. He played a great game. He shot a shot. Got to have respect for him. But GG's to all involved. And as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this fun episode. If you haven't made this fun episode, hey, you give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.